You're gonna use a full scoop of gravel, a half cup of sand, and it's labeled so you can see how much sand, a cup of soil on the top. At Bailey Middle School, students are gathering the ingredients to build a model of a Texas aquifer. This is the rain cup, it has holes in the bottom. Rain has been scarce in Texas this summer, but that's no problem for this seventh grade science class. It's cool. Oh, look over here, how low it's going. For two days, more than 400 students at Bailey Middle School will work their way through seven different hands-on study stations, all concentrating on the water in our environment. In this lab, students learn how rainwater filters down into an aquifer. And we went and got this, this red liquid, and then we put it in a cup, and there was holes in the cup, and it, it was acting like it was raining, and then it like seeped through the soil fast, and then it got slower through the sand. We watched the water go down, and it basically stopped at the clay because clay is very low in permeability. Like say there's a town above this? Yeah. And then it rains. And then that's the... And then it goes stops and then it stops down there. Got it. it. We have a big emphasis here on speaking and writing. If they can tell you what they've learned, um, or if they can write what they've learned, then you know they've really learned it. Look at this right here. This is what an aquifer would look like in real life. See, I knew it. Clay, gravel, sand, soil. Bailey Middle School gets a lot of help from our community members. For this study station, the North Harris County Regional Water Authority brought a trailer full of lessons about water. What do you think uses the most water? And how we use it. All of these things are, are things that they'll be tested on in eighth grade whenever they take the STAR test, but we just wanted to bring it around in a fun way. You're going to take samples of the well water. Back inside the school, the fictional town of Fruitvale has a real world problem. Several of their water wells are contaminated, and this class is testing the water samples to find the cause. We had like a lot of water that was contaminated and like a, only a little bit that was pure. That's five. That's the nastiest water I've seen. So where do you think the contamination is coming for wells? Okay. It's bad news for Randy's filling station. Pollution from the oil that's being mm -hmm. put in the cars. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's something's leaking out at that like gas station. Stuff. Since we're doing stuff like scientists do, I'm just thinking like, hey, hey. This is pretty cool. I, I, I like this. And I'm pretty sure like most of the other students, they're saying like, wow, I feel like a real scientist. Good job, guys. Good job. So see if you can describe that in a sentence down here. And so we've talked about forest fires because, you know, we experienced that in Texas this summer. And uh, drought is going on right now. And they seem to be really interested in that and to just understand that how many inches a lake is below level, you know, for our water sources. And, I mean, who knows that kind of information unless we give that information to them. And so often people think, oh, these are just, uh, you know, teenagers. They don't care. And that's not the truth. They really do care and they really are interested in learning about it. Making learning interesting is something Bailey Middle School does every day. Rain or shine.